assume I am. Okay. So I was kind of thinking, like, you know, I would, uh, I would take maybe, like, a quick break or something. Well, you know, uh, when I got, you know, when I got off yesterday, because I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how much I'm feeling it. Yeah, like, uh, I had a lot of fun yesterday, but, like, I don't know, like, the overall events of yesterday had me, like, so tired out. Like, it was, ugh, man, not a fun time, you know, overall yesterday. Uh, and Twitch is still not 100% live yet, but, uh, let's go ahead and hit continue. But, yeah, um, then I looked today on what I had, you know, when I had it, uh, you know, after I had it exported. Um, it, it, it got quite a few views. Um, well, you know, a bit of a view bump. I mean, not, not, it's nothing insane, but like, there we go. But you know, nothing insane, but like, it went up like, you know, like several views. Now, granted, I know I rewatched it myself a few times to make sure that everything was all well and good and shit. But like, I don't think I watched it like some 20 times, so, okay. I, uh, I'll admit, I do hope that it's people, you know, liking me playing this. Uh, I, I would like to think that people are enjoying watching- hold on, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm adding everyone. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I mean, holy shit, I did not expect anything you know, like, I did not expect that video in particular to just blow up, you know? Later. You know, like it, uh, like it did, so, hey. That's, that's pretty fucking cool. So I figured, hey, keep up, you know, keep on going. Of course, if it turns out that it was actually just me, like, you know, rewatching or some stupid shit, I, I, I'm not sure I'll be happy about that, but hey. I suppose I can, in fact, be my biggest fan, so, <laughs> Oh, yeah. But, um... Yeah, you know, the whole thing I was talking about yesterday, yesterday though, with my, uh, with my base. Um, you know, I, uh, we had an unexpected visitor, this, uh, this woman that my, uh, grandfather was, uh, you know, rather fond of. Uh, she came by a lot. My god, she's a crackpot. Well, let me tell you something, like, you know, like, the whole Karen meme and all that shit? Dead ringer, dude. Like, dead fucking ringer. Like, no joke, she has... Like, she has the haircut, she has, like, you know, she actually, like, believes in, like, the, uh, the holistic, uh, medicine, like, almost exclusively. Like, I, like, don't get me wrong. If you believe in holistic medicine, more power to you, hopefully it works. But, I mean, like, she told my grandmother, who was, like, you know, means anything bad by it, right? I think she's just horrendously misinformed. But she said something like, um, carrot juice will cure cancer or some shit. And, uh, that's... Wow, that could not be more wrong. But she came by today, and, you know, I, I was playing my bass when she came over. Completely unannounced, by the way. Where am I even going? But, you know, she was completely un Like, she came completely unannounced, which is... Generally speaking, I'm not fond of that. You know, I like to know what's going on. <laughs> like, I, I don't... Like, you know, it's kind of like, uh... Yeah, you know, it's kind of like, uh, if I'm staying over, oh, uh, yeah, okay, like, if I'm over, um, I don't know, I'm having trouble coming up with a good comparison here. Uh, but I don't know, like, say I'm at my house and Aaron, of all people, were to show up unannounced. Like, it's Aaron, so, like, I would not be as pissed about it as I would be about some other thing. Like, yeah, like, some, like, you know, like, uh, someone else, because me and Aaron are, like, fucking brothers, but, like, dude... Even then, I would not be happy that he would, like, say, show up completely unannounced with no... Like, you know, like, like, whenever I plan to go over to his place, for instance, I always make sure to let him know. Or at least as best I can. Yeah, you know, I, I don't... I try my best not to fucking show up completely, like, out of the blue. I don't know, I, I just find it kind of rude, I suppose. I don't know. But yeah, she, she's kind of a loony. But hey, whatever. Oh, God. Oh, speaking of my base, I figure, you know what? Might as well tell the story of how I got that. 
Because, you know. And the bandits. Oh, Gator, hold on. No patrols. Risky, but we could rush it. But like, here's the thing. Here's what happened with the base, right? This is so interesting to me. Um, there was this like electric acoustic base that I wanted to get. Like, I wanted it. Let me tell you, I wanted it so bad. Hold on. Like, I wanted, uh, I wanted that acoustic, like, electric acoustic really bad, right? Because, I mean, it's a cool fucking base. Oh, sorry, I'm having trouble focusing. I didn't sleep well last night for some reason. Oh, my God. Dude, what the fuck? But, uh, you know, like, and the guy said, like, you know, the, uh, the guy at the pawn shop that I was going to get it from, you know, said that, hey, uh, you would go hold on to it. Well, that didn't end up happening. Uh, unfortunately, the, um, you know, this guy came in and bought, like, a ton of instruments, which, hey, whatever. Um. Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah, this dude, like, you know, like, this dude bought, like, a ton of instruments, so, like, I couldn't do anything about it. Um. Which was unfortunate, but I had had my eye on this five-string Ibanez, right? Real sweet fucking bass. Beautiful. Like, absolutely gorgeous. Um, but like, you know, because it was sold, you know, he, he was like, hey, how about this? Uh, you had $60 or so on you, which I think it was $60. Um, and I went and, you know, I was like, yeah. And he's like, I'll give you this, uh, this Ibanez. For like fifty, you know, you know, for like uh, sixty dollars, and I was like, "Well, fuck, I can't pass that up." And that is basically the story of how I got the base. Um, honestly, I was kind of thinking that it would be a longer story, like yeah, that me telling it, it would be a longer story than it actually was. So that's my B. But like, damn. Oh god. That's yeah, not good. I'm getting my ass kicked. I, I probably should have grinded just a little. Oh, God. Also, I'm still irked about that whole thing yesterday, actually. Like, I know I said it doesn't really bother me, but, like, looking back on how I was talking about it, clearly I was bothered. And, you know, I can, uh, I can own up to that. But, like, First of all, like, you know, the dude had me, like, you know, kind of freaking out. I was thinking, hey, man, this dude might be about to die, you know? And, oh, God. Like, this dude looking up at me like, hey, I'm the problem. Like, it was clear. Like, I was hoping maybe, like, you know, I could help him, like, you know, if he was in trouble. But, no, the dude just looked up at me with that condescending fucking look. And you know the look, right? Oh, God. People sometimes do suck, admittedly. Wait, what do you mean loot? Like, people can absolutely suck. Uh, and speaking of my whole thing, what I was talking about, like, you know, like, uh, you know, the look that you get when you're a metalhead, which, like, holy shit, you do get those looks, let me tell you. Hold on, let me go to my inventory. Like, the looks that you can get, like, like, I don't want to say, like, it truly, uh, bothered me, but clearly, oh my god, that's absolutely impractical at best. But, like, you know, clearly it did bother me. Like, I was rambling about it. Um, so, yeah, clearly I was bothered, and I don't know why I was bothered, because normally I take that in stride, but, like, maybe it was, like, you know, the fact that I genuinely thought that something was wrong with them. You know, like, I was fucking ready, you know, to fucking, like, you know, call up, you know, fucking EMS and shit. You know, which, goddamn. Like, that dude, clearly, I mean, I thought that he was in trouble. And you know what's funny? In reality, he was fucking just texting on his phone. Like, who does that? Who texts on their fucking phone in, like, fucking million-degree weather? Like, I'm sorry, man, but that's not fucking normal. If anything, it looked kind of fucking shady, if you ask me. But whatever. You know, whatever. Point is... Dude fucking looked at me like I was some fucking freak, which admittedly I am. But like, have some fucking tact, man. 
Come on. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, I'm dying. But I don't fucking understand people though, man. And I, I just you know, clearly I don't understand people. Like I mean, I'm sure you've noticed I talk weird, you know? Like I, I clearly don't have a great grasp of how I'm speaking. Uh, sometimes I say some awkward shit, you know, which I think, you know, like shit that I think is funny, but clearly ends up not being funny. You know, I don't have a great fucking grasp of how the average person works sometimes, you know? Like, outside of, like, a therapist room. Like, I, I could probably be great as a fucking therapist, but admittedly my autism fucking shows like mad, right? But, like, hey. You know, whatever. People are fucking weird, and I just gotta accept that I will never understand them. I suppose that's the best I can hope to do. Have I been rambling? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll come for you. Come on. What is this fucking dude? Yeah, but me and people... Oh god, I'll admit, I'm awkward, man. I'll admit, I can be awkward as hell. Whatever. It does show in public, but hey, who gives a shit, right? Cause like, I think, honestly, people are best when they just be themselves. Regardless of how it looks to other people, right? Oh my god. I'm still getting my ass absolutely kicked. Oh my god! And the worst part is my rambling probably isn't helped by how much I have to focus on this dude. And now he's frozen. I think that's okay, all hell yeah. We could throw the Inquisition's banner over the battle. The villagers may not even object. Oh, that's cool. Hold on, where do I go for the... Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, yesterday was a fucking shit show, admittedly. Uh, like, all around. And yesterday, I think, was just me fucking taking out so much fucking steam, you know? Hold on. Oh, that looks fucking sweet. And then there's like, I don't know, I, the thing is like, you know, when I review a video, I review like the first fucking 20 or 30 minutes. I honestly don't remember like half of the shit that I was fucking talking about yesterday. Like the Karen thing, I think I remember talking about. Uh, no, not Karen, soccer mom, that's what it was. I don't know. In, in case you can't tell, I'm still incredibly tired, you know? Oh, oh, did I set camp? Finally, this place is presentable. What now? We should drain the lake. The mayor said the dam controls were through the fort. Power plus five. Wait, f wait, what do you mean plus five? Also, what do you mean pl through the fort? The Move. The dam Move. Were through this gate. Who? Charter. Why? We're not sure. Hold on. Sister Nightingale tell you why she wanted agents here. We lie on the main road also, my Tourette's has been going there. off real bad today, so I apologize if I sniff a lot. For what they're paid, some have surprisingly loose tongues. When's this spy named Russia supposed to arrive? Half hour ago, by the south gate. I hope he's only delayed. Butcher's last message. Oh, God. Ten times his weight in gold. Okay, so farewell. But yeah, I just, 
You know, it's kind of nice. Sometimes I do use these videos to rant, and that feels good sometimes, you know? Because, like, here's the thing. We all have our fucking bad days, right? I mean, all of us have our bad days. No doubt. Do I go through here? You know, whenever you have an opportunity to vent, fucking take it, you know? And I've noticed, like, admittedly in these videos, I tend to vent a lot more open. Like, I mean, I vent a lot more often, sorry. You know, and, like, the great thing is, like, I can fucking vent whenever when I do these videos. And it's fucking fantastic when I can vent. Because sometimes you just have these fucking awful days. And yesterday, I'll admit, yesterday wasn't exactly, you know, a wonderful fucking day. You know, the walk to the fucking dollar store was fucking hell. Nearly overheated twice. Like, I had to fucking go into, like, a fucking subway at one point to fucking avoid overheating. Like, that's awful. Believe me, I've had trouble regulating my fucking temperature before. And, like... I don't like that at all. You know, I hate it when I'm too warm. I'm super sensitive to temperature change. Right, so that alone put me in a bad mood. Then the whole thing with that ass hat who just looked at me like I was, you know, fucking getting ready to sacrifice him to the Dark Lord or some shit. You know, that, that did not help. Hold on, what's going on here? Like, I remember, uh... I remember Varric was talking about Red Lyrium. Hold on, read. Night Templar Sturge. There's a small ruin in the hills above Crestwood, a tiny place. It's old and elven, so leave no stone unturned. General Samson's orders. You've been told what to look for, so I expect to report once you're done. Copy down any elven writing you see. Knight Lieutenant Morn. Okay, cool. Cool. But yeah, like... Oh, what? What the fuck? Oh, the Lyrium. What do I do about that, though? But yeah, I've had, like, you know, a few bad days, and it's just fucking fantastic to, uh, you know, to fucking vent. And like I said, if you ever have an opportunity to vent, fucking take it. Because, like, I used to be, like, the type who would, like, let the real annoying shit fucking stick around, you know, take up residence. And that's horrible to do, trust me. Like, that is, like, the one of the worst possible things that you could do to yourself. Like, almost without question. Like, you at, like one of the last things you want to do is fucking just bottle shit up. It leads to just some atrocious, you know, fucking reactions. Like, you know, you might fucking blow up at people over the smallest things, which I've been known here. to do. Let's look around. Hold on. Let's take some of this. Hold on. Oh my god. I'm getting a lot of these. I wonder if they're useful. Wait, what are you? Oh, it's a bottle of Thetis. Hell yeah. But yeah, like... Oh, so I forgot to fucking fill myself a drink. Oh well. Thing is, man, is like... Some days just eat at you, right? And like... Again, I'm rambling, and that's unfortunate. Hold on. But yeah, again, I'm rambling, and I really need to stop doing that. But for real, though, like... One of the worst things in the fucking world is, like, when you feel yourself becoming, uh... You know, annoyed, and, like... Or, like, you don't realize that you're becoming annoyed and you just blow up on someone that you love or care about. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. I'm getting annihilated here. Um, but good news, though, I think later today, this isn't going to be a particularly long stream. I just wanted to vent a little longer, I think. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I 
I hate that shield bash. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna die. No, it's not even worth it at this point. Okay, come on. I can get to my fucking allies and revive them, right? Anybody know what that is? Ah! Uh, God damn it! But, like, because I've been having such a bad series of days, like, you know, like, the last week has been rather, you know, stressful, to say the least, you know? I think that's why I went back to fucking, you know, doing videos, because I was thinking, you know, I should take it easy because of all the shit going on with my base. And I figured, hey, you know what would be a good thing to do? Fucking stream a bit. And, you know, it worked out. It felt good to talk about this shit, you know? I mean, good, good. Oh my god, that dude's not gonna be taken down like that. Okay, so I gotta get around this. And what makes this so much worse is I'm pretty sure I have to go through this. Disengage, disengage. Hold on, boom. Hold on. Oh god. I gotta take that, I gotta take that. Okay, I can't. Oh god damn it! God, I am so stressed out by this. Help Dorian! Uh, I gotta fucking get out of here. Okay. Oh my god. That wasn't good at all. Yeah, I'm a little too out of it. Um But uh here's the thing. What I was gonna say earlier is because this week has been so taxing on me, right? I think I've decided that I'm going to finally do a video like well, you know, uh play a game that I've been meaning to play for some fucking time now, right? And it's a favorite of mine ever since I got it a while back. It's a game, you might be familiar with it, it's called Brutal Legend. Now, I've mentioned before that I am like a metalhead to an absolute extreme. And I absolutely love, love metal. In fact, uh, one of my dreams right now is to play metal like in a band, which I would love to do. And with my Ibanez, you know, with the fact that I have an Ibanez now, that is no longer outside of the realm of possibility. That is, in fact, quite possible, you know? Um, but see, that's a game that has, like, captured my heart, because it's like, there's so much of it that has to do with metal. It's all about metal. It's, it's just the absolute embodiment of metal in many ways. Like, it's a love letter to, like, my absolute favorite genre of metal, which... Here's the thing, I've been talked to before about how I take metal so fucking seriously, right? And there's a reason. Metal, see, here's the thing, people that listen to pop, like, no offense to people who listen to pop, but very rarely is pop music, you know, and shit like that, a lifestyle, right? It's always like a form of entertainment. Hey, you listen to it, you have fucking fun, you know? Which I can't knock that. But the thing about metal is, it's a fucking lifestyle, man. It is an absolute lifestyle. Um, and the great thing about that is, you know, when you go to like a concert, right? One of the analogies I like to use to show how dedicated metalheads are is, and again, I'm not taking a shot at people who listen to pop, right? Because your music, your shit, right? You can do whatever the fuck you want with your fucking music. I'm not gonna ever fucking dictate what, like you'll never hear me say that something quote unquote isn't music. 
Because I've heard people say that about metal. And it bothers me when I hear people say that. I mean, like, it actually puts me in a, almost a fucking rage. So I would never fucking do that. You know, like, even shit that I detest. Like, I fucking hate the majority of country, right? Country is not my fucking genre. Nor will it ever be. You know, with the exception maybe of Johnny Cash and I think one or two Merle Haggard songs. Because Merle Haggard was objectively a fucking badass. You know? Like, you cannot tell me that Mama Tried isn't fucking great. But with the exception of those two, and maybe Willie Nelson, but mainly because I like Willie Nelson as a fucking person. You know, the dude can outsmoke Snoop Dogg, okay? That's gotta be respected. You can't knock that. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Majority of country I don't listen to. Whereas I could tell you all kinds of metal bands, right? I could list you fucking King Diamond, Watane, Guar, um, fucking Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, Candlemass. Um, oh god, let's see. Uh, let's keep going, man. Uh, fucking Cannibal Corpse, uh, Cattle Decapitation. Um, oh god, a Kalanish Circle. Thank you, Angry. Thank you, Angry Joe, for letting me know that Kalanish Circle is a thing. Uh, shout out to Angry Joe again, as if I ever needed to fucking say anything to recommend Angry Joe. If you, like, you know, chances are you probably know who he is and he's fucking fantastic. Like, I, I fucking love the dude. He's one of the people I've been watching for a long time. Um, let's see. Who else can I fucking list, right? Um... Oh, uh, Duma Borgia. Uh, Amon Amar. Sabaddon. You know, uh... <laughs> let's see. Let's keep going, man. Let's fucking keep going. I'm actually having fun listening off the bands I love. Uh, Merciful Fate, although that ties in with King Diamond. Um... Come on, uh... Did I mention Watain? I like Watain. Mayhem, I got one of their shirts. Um... Let's see, uh... -huh. Uh, I could, of course, mention System of a Down, Tool, Corn, uh, Ramstein, Ramstein, yes, fucking Ramstein. I think they got me into learning uh, German, which is why I've been again l learning German. Oh, I forgot to mention thrash metal. Holy shit! Where where did I go with that? Anvil, Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax, Slayer, uh, you know the big four and all that. Testament, Exodus, um, fucking Municipal Waste. Uh, Toxic Holocaust. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, then. Um, don't know how that one fucking happened. <laughs> I could mention, of course, Ozzy Osbourne. Um, let's see. Wh what else do I got on my list, right? Um, Goat Whore. Goat Whore, I got one of their shirts. Um... I mentioned Guar. Guar is my fucking favorite band for the most part. I fucking adore Guar. Um, I don't know if it counts because they're like, you know, kind of like a... You know, kind of like, not only they're a virtual band, but they're also like, fuck, kind of a joke band. Uh, you know, um, Death Clock. You know, from, uh, Metalocalypse. Uh, oh! Um, what are they called? Uh, what's it called? Shit, I'm trying to remember the name. Um, damn it, Malevolent Creation, there it is. Uh, Pestilence, uh, that's, that's a good band from what I hear. Um, you know, just, and that's basically just a taste for the most part. If I were to fucking look at, like, you know, like, uh, my most recent fucking searches for, like, awesome bands, I could probably pull out some more. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, the most obscure band that I know, but honestly, I think Kalanish Circle, I already listed it. Which is unfortunate that Kal Kalanish Circle is, like, you know, quote-unquote obscure, but, like, I mean, holy shit. Um. Let's see, uh. I'm trying to think now. I don't know, is Primus a metal band? I heard it's, like, you know, considered, like, a folk metal or something. No, not folk metal. You know what I'm trying to say? It, it's like some kind. It's a. It's often put in with metal, so I guess I'll count it. Um. Oh, 
Oh, into the black metal genre, uh, we could talk about Emperor, uh, Immortal, um, oh god. Oh, on the industrial side, we got fucking Ministry, we got, uh, we got Nail Bomb, which is fucking awesome. Nail Bomb's like the shit. You gotta love Cavalero. Sepultura! Fucking hell. Um, let's see. Uh, who else was I talking about? Like, holy shit, man. I could go on and on and on. Like, you gotta give me, like, you give me a little bit of time and, like, I could list off an endless number of fucking bands, right? Because this is shit that I'm fucking passionate about. Um, oh, I guess you could, I guess you could lump typo negative in with that. I don't know. I feel like that's a little loose though. I think that's kind of a looser definition than I'm usually, uh, that I'm usually okay with. So I don't know. Um, God, where do I go? Here lies the abyss. Oh, oh, okay then. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's upsetting. Anyways, uh, let me think more about some of the bands that I, you know, that I enjoy. Behemoth. Behemoth is fucking great. Um. What is it? Oh, um. What's that? What's Cole, uh, Cold Chamber. I think I mentioned them yesterday when I was talking about them. Uh, Disturbed's always good, but... I don't know. I've been a little burnt out on Disturbed. No offense to uh, no offense to the, you know to Draymond and you know and the rest of the guys in Disturbed, but like I've been admittedly rather burnt out as of late on Disturbed, so that's unfortunate. Um, Slipknot. I don't know if I mentioned Slipknot, which if I didn't, uh, fucking blasphemy. I know. Um, like that's the thing though. I could go on and on and on and on and on for days, right? Talking about the fucking metal bands I love. Hey, Dad. Name the most obscure metal band you can think of. And I'm talking obscure as fuck. Ooh, Grim Reaper. That's a nice one. Thanks, Dad. Oh, Dort. Thank you. Oh, Pantera. How did I... Cards when we get back to Skyhold Barry. Not if it's with your crazy Tevinter rules. Now, now, nobody ever died from those. Lately. I love their conversations. But yeah, like, I could list metal bands all fucking day, man. Um, what, what is that one band called? I'm trying to remember it. Something Grinder, right? Something, uh, oh god, I can't, I, I feel ashamed that I don't remember what it is. Oh god, I feel horrible because I like it and I was recently introduced to them. But yeah, uh, did I mention Sepultura? I know I mentioned Nail Bomb, right? Those are fucking great bands and always will be. Um. Oh god, I'm trying to think of more because, like, I love them. I love them a lot. Um, I guess you could say Motley Crue. Yeah, yeah, Motley Crue. Um, like, if it's metal, I'll give it a shot. Like, I think there's only, like,. I can't remember if there's even a single metal band that I just genuinely don't like, like in general. I'm sure there is, um, and you give me enough time, I could probably figure it out. I could probably, like, remember. But, like, dude, I fucking love metal because it's a fucking lifestyle, you know? Which is why I plan on playing Brutal Legend at some point. Um, because, like I said, it's a fucking love letter. And, like, there's, like, what, a hundred or so songs, which, by the way, no chance in hell... I'll be able to monetize that, you know, the videos for that game, but I'm okay with that because honestly, I don't want to monetize it. I want it to be what it is, a fucking tribute to what I hold close to my fucking heart, right? You know, fucking hold the, you know, like, hold like the fucking metal genre to where it needs to be, you know? Uh, and so, yeah, I plan on doing that. I plan on fucking playing the game and not, you know, not monetizing it, of course. Oh dear god, do I really have to go in this direction? Oh my god. Can I go around? Oh my god, what just happened there? I'm gonna try and go around, because I tried. Like, I seriously fucking tried. And that did not- Oh god! I'm going to die if they fucking see me. Unless I can properly disengage. Oh dear god. But yeah, I want to play Brutal Legend. 
like so bad and I plan on doing it on stream uh, because for well, honestly I'd have to because I have no other way of recording it anyways but yeah like there's so many things about it that I just love it's it's something that I can honestly hold real close to my fucking heart because it's about something else I hold close to my heart and plus it's genuinely funny I mean you got Jack Black playing lead uh, you've got, um, oh god, is this, okay, I was about to say, that better not be a fucking invisible wall, man. But, like, you got Jack Black playing the lead, you got Tim Curry playing the villain. Dude, how can you not love that? Um, what is this? The wedge, I'm sorry, what? Hold on, I, no, I gotta see that, dude, I gotta fucking see that, man. <laughs> Wedge of Destiny? Wedge of Destiny. <laughs> Hold on. A good and colorful item for those who have hardy constitutions. This shield form, formed from a jack, dragon shed her scales and fragments wait, uh, wafted onto the soft and flavorful breeze into a dairy farm. Wielding it, Sir Jacques de, Mont uh, de Monterey was unstoppable until he fought Par Marchant or dis uh or dishonorably, uh, or dishonorably, his wistful last words as he lay upon, uh, as he lay full of holes, it was he who had failed, not the shield. <laughs> oh my god, I'm giving that to Cassandra, even though I'm sure he'll get her killed, but like, dude, I got, oh my god, the wedge of destiny. Oh, Tenacious D! How could I ever forget Tenacious D on my list of awesome metal bands? Which, say what you fucking want about Tenacious D, but their songs are metal as fuck, and Jack Black loves him some fucking metal. I guess you could say uh, Nirvana to some degree, if only because of Dave Grohl. Like, I would never consider... Uh, I can't say that I would personally consider... Um, hold on. I can't say I would personally consider uh, Nirvana, you know, itself to be metal. This might be a decent place for a spot. Of hold on. Oh, do I... Do I have to... Okay, well, at least I can get here. Well, like, dude, Jack Black loves him as fucking metal. He's, you know, he's been friends with just about everybody in metal. And holy shit, do I fucking adore it. Why? Why do we have to? I wanna, I don't wanna. I think we killed everyone we have to. Why do we have to slaughter animals? Okay, well, um, I think I know what I'm doing. That didn't work out at all. Dude, fuck off! Okay, that did not go well at all, right? I think we can all agree on that. Oh, so we don't have to kill them. Okay, cool. Oh, sorry about that. A place like to I said, set up camp, perhaps. Yes! Oh, fucking finally! Oh, and I can fucking refill all my shite! First of all, rest. That needs to be done, right? I mean, like, that does put me at full health, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Like, no joke, though. I, like, metal is a fucking lifestyle, and it always will be. Like, I don't, I, I don't think I can name one fucking person that I know who's, like, really into metal and doesn't fucking, like, uh, and, like, listens to it just casually. Like, okay, so there's some that, like, you know, listen to, like, you know, a lot of the radio shit, but, like... Okay, I went to rest, apparently. But, like, if you know who, like, say, fucking Watane are... Chances are, it's a fucking lifestyle, you know? Now, like, if you listen to, like, Metallica, the Black Album, it might not necessarily be a lifestyle, but, like, if you know one of the obscure fucking bands, like, let me tell you, you probably, you know, you probably, uh, you probably live that shit. 
Oh, cool. Fucking loot. Okay. Where do I go from here? Um... But yeah, after I'm done with this stream, which probably won't be super long, I'm not intending it to be. Although I do hope to at least get a fucking, uh, mission done. Um, yeah, after this, I'll probably play Brutal Legend. Uh, I absolutely hope to fucking, you know, do what I can with that. Yeah, I hope to do the game justice. I mean, I can't guarantee I will, but I mean, hey, with my knowledge of metal, there's hope. Like, I- here's the thing though- oh, shit, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, earlier, when I was commenting about how, like, hey. Ox Warden Pal should like, be inside that cave. Oh, cool. Like, when I mentioned how, like, most people who are, like, you know, into metal, chances are, you know, they, uh, they fucking live the hell out of that shit, right? Hold on. Yeah, you know, chances are they'll live the absolute shit out of that. Um, like, you know, okay, okay, now I remember, now I remember. I've been talking and rambling and shit. Here's the thing. Like, your average person who listens to pop or country, right? They'll probably go to, on average, maybe like one, two, maybe if I'm being generous about four concerts in their lives, right? That's just a general estimate. Now, I can't say that's for everyone, but that's a general, you know, that's like a generalization, which... I normally try to avoid, but it's a statistic that I'm honestly willing to stick to. On the other hand, take me, right? Ever since I was able to go to my first fucking concert, right? I have been to nine. One of which was a fucking three-day festival. Uh, it was Carolina Rebellion, right? Uh, which was a fucking long way to go. I mean, long way to go. But it was absolutely worth it. Hold on. Banner of the Blind Men. This banner marks the cave as an outpost of the blind men. Notorious smugglers who are known to sell sl Okay. Cool. Who are known to sell slaves to Deventer. It is possible that the Grey Warden asked them to politely leave so that he could use their hideout. Although the bloodstains on the walls suggest otherwise. Heh. <laughs> I like it. Also, let me go to my fucking character record. I want to fucking spend a point, but I don't know on what. Hold on. Um, I gotta look at this. Like, for real. Hold on. Oh, that's cool. I fucking love that. I absolutely want throwing blades. For real. Um. I don't want anything in archery for me. Like, that's just not me. You know? A uh, sneak attack. Attacks upon a target's back or flank are much more likely to be killing blows. Huh. Hold on. Okay, bloody prey. Hold on. Huh. Unforgiving chain. I'm trying to figure out what I got here. Huh. 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 That's interesting. I like that. Oh, I like that though. I like it. Oh god, I like that. Hold on. I should put more into this. On. 
God damn. Oh, God. Oh, I like that. Okay, I should use that. Uh, I got it. You know, I got to put it. I got to put it on hook and tackle, man. Cool. I like it. I like it. That works. Hey, hold up. Save. Yeah. Hello? It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Toud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. Hold on. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though, might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker! Why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. Hold on. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling tells a Warden that the Blight will soon claim him. It starts with dreams. Then come whispers in his head. The Warden says his farewells and goes to the deep roads to meet his death in combat. And oh. every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. Oh, that's some hard shit. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next Blight? It is our greatest fear. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling. And they're falling for it. Hold on. Is the calling they're hearing real? Or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. Holy shit. That's all we know for certain. You said all the wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. How can Corypheus make all these wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him, save that he is dangerous. He is a magister, as well as a darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of Wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. Hold on. Turn on my fucking Tootsie Warmer. Also, I just reached over and fucking popped my wrist, and it hurt so much. Um... So the Wardens are making some last desperate attack on the Darkspawn. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, 
My own comrades turned on me. Oh no. Grey Wardens are gathering here in the western approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Well, now we know what's going on with the, uh... Now we know what's going on with all that. Ritual tower in the western approach as soon as possible, your worship. Hold on. Terrell's the warden commander, right? What's she like? She was a good warden. Once. Among those King Kaelin reached out to before the blight. She always resented missing the chance to help. When the calling came, Terrell stopped listening to the rest of us. Only magic could solve this problem, she said. Here we go. Corypheus is using the calling to control her. It's hard to say. I have heard the whispers of the calling myself, but it's only noise, no words. Certainly no commands. Either way, the guilt is hers. She's warden commander. She should bow to no one's word, but wise house. Hold on, I want to know about wardens. Like a warden. I can't even imagine. A long time since I was anything else. It becomes your life, searching out dark spawn and killing them, ensuring no one ever knows how close they are. Here we go. Griffiths was in a warden prison, right? So you must know something about him. I do little, and that much only because of my relative security. Most wardens have never heard of him. When I suggested Griffiths might have something to do with the calling, the warden mages turned on. I trained some of those wardens myself. If I knew any more of Corypheus, I would share it, your worship. We'll talk please don't, you. please stop calling me your worship. I, I, dude, I, like, legitimately, I'm actually trying to be a good dude, you know? But yeah, like I said, though, about that whole thing with, like, you know, dude, like, that fucking, that clearly did get under my skin, and I know I said it normally doesn't, and normally it wouldn't, but just something about that did bother me. Maybe it was because I was going in to try and help him, you know, or at least, what like, help someone that I thought might need help anyways. I don't know. I just, I don't like, here's the thing, I don't like feeling useless, I guess. And it's even worse when, like, I feel like somebody's just spitting in my face. And that's what that felt like, you know? I don't know. I, it, it's kind of hard to explain. People confound me, to say the least. Like, and I, I see that even more, like, when I talk to, like, you know, the average, you know, like, the quote-unquote average person, right? Like, when I talk to, like, your average quote-unquote individual, you know, uh, oh, hold on, the pit in the pond, hundreds of yards deep, dark spawn emerged from this. No, I, hold on, but, like, here's the thing, I know this even more, like, when I talk to people, because I talk odd, you know, awkwardly, um, and while I can normally get my point across, sometimes it's difficult to talk to people and have them, like, understand what you're trying to say. And that, you know, that could be a huge fucking roadblock sometimes when talking to people, you know? Uh, I like to, I like to think that I'm good with people, but I know I'm not 100% great with people, honestly. Uh, I'm awkward, honestly. Uh, but as Aaron said before, I, I've been getting better about that. You know, I, I've improved a lot, because, like, way back when, I was fucked up. You know, I was, I was, like, just, I was not a sociable person. I was not good with people at all. If anything, at times, I was somewhat hostile. Um, and now, you know, I actually try, even though I'm, a, believe it or not, a serious introvert, I actually do try to associate with people, you know, try to break past those barriers. Which, here's the thing, I don't think you sh like if you're an introvert and you're happy being an introvert okay cool i myself am happy being an introvert but like when i go to like concerts here's the weird thing when i'm when i'm at a concert right it's it's so weird because i mentioned before that for me going to a concert is almost a religious experience experience in some way you know it's like how some people describe finding god you know um because the thing is going to a concert I, God, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, normally I'm somewhat withdrawn. Like, I'll, I'll talk to people. I'm not really withdrawn. But when I talk to people, I feel weird, you know? I talk to people more to break the ice, break the tension, you know? 
Because I always feel like there's tension, but even when there's not. That's why sometimes you'll find me, like, stuttering or something when I talk. Because I'm trying desperately to find a way to, like, lighten a mood that may not even be there. You know? Um... Because I, I don't like being uncomfortable. I don't like sitting in a situation where I feel like things could go wrong. So, like, I feel like in any social setting, I feel like there's some kind of, like, tension that needs to be broken. Oh, even when I know for a fact there isn't. So that's usually why I talk a lot, even when in reality I'm fairly introverted and would much rather spend all my time indoors fucking playing video games, playing my bass... Um, fucking reading a book. You fucking name it, dude. Um, like, you fucking name it. I would usually rather just spend my time indoors. Uh, with the exception of being around my friends. But, when I'm at a concert, though, all of that changes. I can talk to people. Not only can I talk to people, I can truly smile when I do. I'm surrounded by people that share my same passion. Hell, in some ways, are probably just like me. All of my social awkwardness just goes away, you know? Uh, and that's, that's magical to me, you know? I'll probably be saying this exact same story, uh, talking about this, uh, more in depth when I go to play Brutal Legend. Um, because Brutal Legend is like... Dude, Brutal Legend is one of those games where I feel like that's the best place to talk about my experiences at concerts, my experiences with metal. God, I, I don't know, man. This the commu the metal community has been nothing, nothing but kind to me. Uh, it's been probably the best thing that's ever happened to me in many ways. Um, you know, metalheads are honestly like here's the thing. Okay, my friends are objectively the best thing that's ever happened to me in all in all honesty. But when it comes to like really breaking me through and getting me to be more social. And, like, places where I can have so much fun. Hold on. I wonder what that is. Hold on. Oh, nice. Reddit. Something on, like, PewDiePie's thing or whatever is trending. Cool. Oh, uh, not trending. Sorry. Uh, it's in hot. But, um... Here's the thing. Right? When I'm at a concert, I feel open. You know? And I'll probably be more able to actually talk about exactly how it is when I do Brutal Legend, which I'm hoping to start today, later, after I'm done with the stream, which, give it another 20 minutes or so. Um, you know, that's just... I don't know how to describe it, man. Like, everything about... Everything about the community, you know, like, sure, there's the occasional asshole, but, like, there's so many more... Black Label Society! Motherfucker! Corrosion of conformity! Uh, I hate breed! Fucking Stone Sour in this moment. Uh, Texas Hippie Coalition. Five Finger Death Punch. God smack. Holy shit. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to bring that up. Um. But, like, here's the thing. Being at a concert has, in many ways, broken me out of more shells than I can possibly put into words. You know, uh, and like I said, at metal concerts, it's just... The best way to describe it, it's like you're around family, but not like, the, like, not like in that uncomfortable way. Like, usually when I'm around my own actual family, I'm, I'm a tad uncomfortable, you know? I, I tend to hide around in the corner, you know? Uh, occasionally, the kids will walk up to me and ask me questions, and I'll be like... Yeah, okay, so, like, this is what's like having long hair, uh, or whatever. Because, you know, a lot of a lot of my cousins ask me about my fucking hair, and honestly, it's funny. I think my favorite one was when one of my cousins asked me whether or not, you know, like, whether or not I was a girl or something. I'm like, no, 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 I just like having long hair. I don't know why, the kids like coming up to me and asking me questions, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, personally, I find it hilarious. Because uh, the thing is, I, I know, like, uh, one of my aunts, like, you know, she gets asked questions by my cousins a lot. Like, you know, especially the little ones. And she finds it annoying, which, to be honest, she's not the greatest aunt, to be honest. She's... Yeah, whatever. Now's not the time for a story about, you know, how my family can annoy the shit out of me. But, like, you know, I like to answer their questions and shit, you know. Because I remember when I was little, I had uncles. Like, I had, an, like, I had, like... 
how do I describe this? My fucking, uh, aunts and uncles sometimes would be like, yeah, whatever, kid, go on. And I, thing is, I don't want, like, you know, I don't want my fucking cousins to, you know, have to deal with that. So, best thing that you can do is fucking be like, hey, check this out. You know, and like fucking show them something cool, like a drawing. Or like, you know, fucking interact with them, you know? That's, that's you know, that I think does more for the kid in the long run than just fucking sitting there and being a shitty person and being like, I'm too fucking good. You know, like, I'm too fucking cool to talk to this little fucking crotch goblin, you know? Like, no, man, fucking interact with them, you know? And trust me, it'll do them more good in the long run. Anyways, I'm fucking going off on all kinds of rabbit trails. But anyways, like, you know, like, when I'm with family, like, you know, they're always so weird around shit like that, you know? Like, that's how I grew up with them, and they're still like that with me, so I, as a result, tend to fucking sit in a corner and do whatever. Uh, if there's, like, a video game console around, I'll try and play that. If not, I'll fucking play, like, I don't know, a fucking Game Boy game that I bought on my phone or some shit. I don't know. Usually, I don't socialize a whole lot with my family. Uh, because my family is not, like, you know, they're, like, you know, the age gaps are so real in my family, it's, like, it's insane. So, like, yeah, my family is not, like, you know, I just tend to sit on the stairs, for instance, when I go to visit my, uh, great-grandmother. But when I'm at a metal concert, dude, I feel so comfortable. And it's fantastic, you know? It just makes me feel so good, so happy. You know, like, those are honestly the happiest I've, you know, some of the happiest moments of my life. My first concert, which was a Guar concert, I think I mentioned this in my Sal one of my Sally Face videos. Um, that Guar concert was like one of the best experiences of my life, and I'll always hold it in a in probably one of the most special places in my heart because I went to that concert. Like I remember, uh, I remember like uh, talking to these people. Uh, like yeah, this one dude, right? I ended up fucking making friends with him. He was like. And I've still talked to him to this day. Um, and talking to him has been so fucking cool. Because, like, we talk about, like, all kinds of fucking crazy bands. Uh, uh, what's that one that he really loves that he fucking recommended to me? If I can fucking remember what it was. Um, not Rotting Christ. Oh, God, I'm getting demonetized just for mentioning that band. But, luckily, who gives a shit? Uh, I don't give a shit about monetization. That's not what I do this for. Um. What's it called? God, what is it called? I'm trying to remember its name, man. Cradle of Filth. That's the band. He fucking recommended it to me, and yeah, I fucking enjoy it ever so often. You know, I don't listen to it fucking habitually, but Yeah, sorry about that. Um, oh, Winds of Plague. I fucking love Winds of Plague. Oh, God. Melodic death metal is fucking awesome. Oh, God. That's still up. Sorry. My, uh, fucking notifications window on my phone was still open, so I, I, if anything happened in chat, I did not see it, and I apologize. Pond Three Trout Pond hides a sinkhole hundreds of yards deep. Dark Spawn emerged from this and other caves to attack Crestwood during the blight. The flood that wiped out old Crestwood... Uh, drowned the blighted ones, and the excess water created the pond we see today. If the dam was not damaged, we would have never survived the dark spawn. Was the maker's hand in this? I cannot believe he would be—he would be so purposely cruel to his children, flawed though we are. From the memoirs of Sister Vaughn of Crestwood. Oh damn. I kind of want to change that banner, but like, wait—is that one that I already chose though? Whatever. It fucking looks sweet, I guess. Oh, uh, but yeah, like you know, that's the thing. You know, metal concerts, like, if you're into metal, I absolutely recommend. The prices usually aren't super fucking high, especially, like, if you've got a club near you. Like, where I live, there's a couple of clubs that'll, you know, that'll have the occasional band roll through. Um, which, trust me, that nets some crazy fucking profits, I'm sure. Because, trust me, fucking bands coming in from wherever, I can fucking guarantee you, you'll make a profit. Because metalheads will flock to your club. Um, there's another place all the way up in Richmond 
This place is called the National, right? And the National is probably one of my all-time favorite places in the world. Like, when I die, I'm going to haunt the shit out of that place. Because I want to continue to see fucking awesome fucking bands. Oh, I saw Doyle uh, one time. Uh, Ghoul was awesome. Um, I heard Dethroned is really good, but unfortunately, I, I have to admit, I haven't listened to Dethroned yet. Um, oh, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta go away, I gotta, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. Disengage, disengage. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me go ahead and save real quick. Bloody papers, the stack of paper is so blood soaked, the pages stick together, only a few lines are still legible. After knowing who he truly serves, it is easy. It is. Uh, it was an easy thing to discover his compatriots. I lifted a list of their spies from one before I left. We have little time before the theft is discovered. Motorhead! Holy shit! How could I forget Motorhead? We have little time before their theft is discovered, so I advise we move post haste. Oh, uh, sorry. The theft is discovered. I was followed, but do not fear. I lost my pursuers and lied. Uh, lied, or lighties. Our only, uh, our only our closest friends know my, fi know my final destination. Butcher. Oh, shit. Okay, well, hell yeah. Hold on, let me check something. Cool. Fucking sweet. Oh, that's a body! Poor bastards. Well, let's go put them down. Hold on. Oh boy. Holy shit, why don't I use that more? Holy shit! Dude! Holy shit, man. That was awesome! Yo, I gotta use that more, man. I love that. Dude, if I had been using that before, I wouldn't have gotten my ass kicked, I'm sure. Like, dude, holy shit, man. Now, do I have to, like, what do I have to do to get that shit back, right? Do I have to, like, kill more enemies? Holy shit. <laughs> also think, by the way, that's uh, one of the reasons why I enjoy fantasy so much. Because, like, here's the thing. A lot of metal, like, particularly things like uh, Amon, right? Amon, Amarth. A lot of that shit takes a lot of inspiration from things like, uh, you know, from things along the lines of, like, you know, like, things uh, in the vein of, like, you know, fantasy. Yeah, you know, that's what metal tends to take a lot of inspiration with, you know, from a lot. Um, uh, like Bolt Thrower, for instance. Bolt Thrower was always good. Yeah, like, you see what I mean, though, when I say that, like, metal is a fucking lifestyle? Like, I could talk all fucking day about that. Hold on. Holy shit. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and disrupt... Go ahead and do that. Oh god. But yeah, like, dude, fucking metal is like one of the, my favorite things of all time. It, it'll always hold such a place in my heart. Oh my god. I get a brutal legend which I plan to play later. Like I said before, for those that, you know, for those that, uh, well, I was gonna say for those that are tuning in, but somebody just left. On close? Hell yeah. That looks like the fucking, uh, what are they called? Yeah, from Brutal Legend. Holy shit, man. Oh, God. Oh, Enhanced Shield Bash Ring, huh? Don't have enough of those. Oh, my God, though. That's awesome.
Power plus two. Yes! Okay, cool. I got enough to do Here Lies the Abyss. But uh, I don't think I'm well enough equipped to do that. So I think for now, uh, I'm, I, I think, I think I'm going to continue walking around for a bit, but like, no joke. Um, like give it, actually no, I think, yeah, I might, I might put it up for now. Um, holy shit, man, I fucking, dude, I'm so fucking happy that I've, uh, you yeah, know, that I'm about to do Brutal Legend, and I guess this is a pretty damn good precursor, so. You guys all have a good day, uh, etc, etc, you know what to do. Have a great day, man. See ya.